One more night, one more night I could fight it through Till the darkness turns to light One more night, one more night friends. I hope you are well and having a beautiful start to your day. I've had a nice morning so far, which I'm super thankful about. And today we're just going to have ourselves a day. We're going to go shopping, going to get our nails done. I've had my little flower nails for over a month now, which is amazing that they lasted this long. I'm trying to zoom in so you guys can see how grown out they are. They still look cute from far away, but then you can start to see like they're really grown out. And so I'm still deciding what design I wanna do this time, if I just wanna do a solid color or do another design. And I honestly love this so much that I wanna get it again. I might tweak it a little bit, maybe get different colored flowers. I don't know, we'll see, I still have to make a decision. But we're gonna go do that and then go to Disney Springs, which I haven't been to in so long, which if you don't know what Disney Springs is, basically it's kind of like an outdoor mall at Disney World and they have Zara, Anthropology, Free People, so I wanna go in all those stores. And they also have like yummy food, yummy coffee and treats. So we're gonna have like a little treat yourself kind of day. and I'm excited just to spend it with you all. It's just gonna be you and me enjoying the day and there's a couple fun iced coffees I want to try at Disney Springs. So we're going to give those a try if they have them, hopefully. And then after Disney Springs, I want to go grocery shopping, get some healthy food for the week, and we'll cook a yummy and delicious meal later today. And I also need to stop by a plant nursery. I've been on the phone calling a bunch of different nurseries because we're going to do our little diamond trellis in the backyard this weekend. But I'm looking for climbing star jasmine. There's a few different names for it, but basically I'm looking for a star jasmine plant that grows upwards on a trellis. So I called a nursery today and they said they have some, but I also called just the local Lowe's yesterday and they said they don't currently have some, but they're gonna get shipments later this week, but they sell out really quickly. So I'm, we're not gonna be doing this project for a few days, but I'd rather just get the plants now so I know like we'll have them and they can start growing. So we'll see if they have any, hopefully, but I'm excited just to spend the day together. Today I'm wearing this really cute blue gingham dress that I am in love with. The back is so pretty and it's just flowy and super comfortable. Okay friends, I just finished getting my nails done and I'm so happy with them. Sorry, I'm just trying to balance you on my car. Okay, so I wanted a flower design again, but a little, oh, we're jamming. I wanted a flower design, but a little different and my nail artist definitely understood the assignment. So here they are. They're so cute. They're just alternating little pastel flowers and I'm very happy with them. I just think they're so fun. And as much as I love just my standard pink or just white, simple, natural nails for spring and summer, I've been just having a lot of fun doing kind of more fun designs. And I always ask for dip. So it's dip underneath and then she drew the flowers on with some gel so it's a combo of dip and gel but like i said my previous nails lasted over a month which is just phenomenal because unfortunately when i paint my nails at home they seriously last three or four days so it really even though it takes you know a good hour and a half to get it done at the salon it really in the long run saves a lot of time and i really do super enjoy getting my nails done and i used to never get my nails done but I've definitely like prioritized it and it actually brings a lot of joy. So I'm loving that. And I would definitely recommend like if you are getting a dip manicure and it doesn't last you very long, try out a different salon because I have had other dip manicures and it only lasts like two and a half weeks or maybe a month, but like not any longer. And it starts to kind of peel off and stuff or crack. That's happened to me before. Definitely try out other salons because it makes a huge difference on what materials they use because this specific salon, they definitely use like high quality materials. The owner actually did my nails today and she has told me in the past that she like uses the best materials and that's why it lasts so long because you know, cheaper materials, you know, tend to kind of fade away quicker. So 
very pleased with that. Now we are off to Disney Springs and I'm starting to get a little hungry. It's actually just noon right now. So I don't really want to sit down or anything for lunch. So I'm going to have to brainstorm what to get. I haven't been there in so long, so we'll see. I know there's a Frontera Mexican Grill and I'm pretty sure they have a quick service place where you can just grab and go a little bite to eat. So maybe like a little side of black beans and rice and maybe some guacamole. I don't know. We'll see. We'll check it out. But I'm really excited to be reunited with Disney Springs. got the inspiration for the little bistro table and chairs on our front porch. So, so cute. Okay, so the Frontera Mexican restaurant doesn't appear to have the quick service restaurant anymore, but it's all good. I'm nestled in at Pizza Point, which is like a little Italian kind of quick service place here, and I got a salad. Looks pretty yummy. I'll give you a closer look, but I just wanted something kind of lighter and fresher because I got, I'm in line for the virtual queue at this place called Gideon's Bake Shop. And this is such an iconic spot. And I've been to their location in downtown Orlando before, but they have their flagship location in Disney Springs where it's an actual full storefront. They were just like at this kind of indoor farmer's market called East End Market. So I'm so excited. They had an hour wait, but it's so awesome. You can have the virtual queue and then come back at your allotted time. So I have an hour and I'll just do the shopping while I'm waiting for that and finish my lunch. And I really hope they have peanut butter coffee. That's like what I'm most excited to try is there peanut butter coffee so we'll see but I don't know because I, I know they tend to sell out and whatnot so we'll see what happens and see what we can try but excited for that and this has just been so nostalgic so far because I used to come here every single morning for work my office when I worked at Disney and social media was right across the street so I would park here a lot of the times and then walk to my office get a little Starbucks or coffee um, on the way to work so it's very very nostalgic and bringing back all the memories but it's just so good to be here and I'm excited to do a little shopping at Zara the place what I'm really looking for at Zara is a purse because I love my purse I've had this for about three or four years now and it's a great everyday like errands purse but I am looking for a purse to wear like on fancier occasions like weddings or on date nights and just like more of a nighttime purse if that makes sense and I saw a cute one on Zara's website so we'll see if they have it in person so, I don't know we'll take a look between this one though and the white one. I definitely just want one of them. This is more of like a beige color and then we have the white and this one's bigger, so. I don't know, gotta decide. But if I wait till the summer, Okay, Zara in the springtime is something special. I'm so excited about the bag and they had seriously so many different cute clothing pieces, but nothing I really needed. I just really wanted that bag. And now we're headed to Gideon. Okay, that was truly one of the best experiences 
ever. It is just so incredible on the inside. It is, I had goosebumps. It just took me, it transported me. It was very gothic and dark. And you know, it just kind of reminded me of, I don't know exactly, but just a little spooky, but in the most like enchanting and charming way, if that makes sense. And the peanut butter, cold brew is very very tasty I will say it is super 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 sweet like crazy sweet so I would definitely like a stronger coffee and cold brew flavor but definitely a must try and it's made with oat milk so it really just kind of tastes more kind of like milkshakey because oat milk is so creamy and it always kind of just reminds me of more like of a decadent kind of cereal milk latte so definitely worth a try like I said and let's take a look at the cookies we picked out so the first one we have is a triple chocolate chocolate chunk cookie that looks absolutely insane. It looks remarkable and it has little sea salt flakes. I'm actually gonna save both of the cookies. I'm gonna try to save it until I get home and Brandon's home from work so that we can, you know, do a little taste test together. Wait, I actually got it confused. The one I just showed you is the peanut butter espresso one and then this is the triple chocolate chunk which, oh my goodness, it is just sickening. Wow, cannot wait to take a bite. This is so precious. Guys, these flower pots. Oh my goodness, so cute. Also, this rainbow mug is everything. There's my old office building. Oh my goodness, so cute, so many memories. Okay, we absolutely hit the jackpot at Anthropology. I found so many dreamy spring home things just a variety of different things so i'll do a little haul once we get home but first i gotta make three more stops number one lowe's for an order pickup and then two target to grocery shop and then three the plant nursery to unload all of the groceries put everything away i'm so excited about the jasmine i was able to get it's already so cute like leaned up against the garage so really excited for this project we'll definitely be <laughs> taking you along for everything and i need to watch a million youtube videos of how to care for star jasmine so gonna work on that but in the meantime just gonna put everything away and then before we know it it's time to get started on dinner so you got some hauls coming your way and some cooking cozy cooking time and we still have to try our gideon's bakehouse cookies so bake shop or gate bakehouse i'm not quite sure but they're gonna be yummy i just know it Okay, groceries are unloaded and I just put together this little snack platter for B because he actually got home a couple minutes after I got home and he really scared me because I was still unloading from the garage and I walked back to the garage to get the rest of the groceries and then the garage door was open and I didn't see him yet and I was like, okay, who opened the garage? And then I heard a car and I didn't register yet so I was like really nervous but it was him so I was very excited to see him and not someone else <laughs> who I didn't know so... That was good, a little bit of a scare, but I'm glad he's home. So uh, we have some Ithaca buffalo hummus, which by the way is so delicious, and some pretzel crisps. I'm gonna get some more because I was just snacking on a bunch of it. And then he actually picked up these little organic carrot sticks from the store last night for us to try, and I tried them for the first time, and they're good, but definitely not great. They, they really just taste very healthy, if you know what I mean. So I don't know, it's a fun little thing to snack on though. And some veggies, some pineapple, and then literally the best cookies ever. I'm so excited for him to try them. While I was cutting him a piece, I tried a couple bites and best cookies ever. Like they are insane. And I think I love the triple chocolate chunk. I'm such a chocolate lover, so of course I love that one. But I think my favorite 
is the peanut butter chocolate espresso one and it's a limited edition one so that's kind of fun so can't wait to see what he thinks oh i also fixed him a coffee and mixed in the rest of the peanut butter oat milk cold brew with just some black coffee because i know he would think it's way too sugary so hopefully he'll like this little mixture okay he's pumped he is pumped about these cookies mm. <laughs> and the carrots <laughs> what do you want more, the cookies or the dried up carrots? That's pretty good. It's <laughs> funny. Here, try this coffee. I really think it's going to be way too sweet for you. Probably if you think it's sweet. Well, also, and it's still sweet after mixing in just black coffee. It's kind of crazy. It's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. It's kind of watered down, too, because yeah, the ice, tell. you can tell it's watered down. It's a little, it's been brewed up for hours at this point. But... Good though, you can taste the peanut butter. Yeah. And it's, Not and, too strong. And I read on the menu that they make the coffee like with actual peanuts and it's not just like a peanut butter syrup. They just source the peanuts and then make it, brew it up together. I'm not exactly sure how they do it, but. Okay, he's going for the cookie. <laughs> I already had a I bite, more, you know. No, you, more, you're gonna want that together. one. No, I won't, that's too much sweetness. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. It's unreal. It's so good, guys. I wish we could share a bite with you. <laughs> Do you like it? Mm-hmm. Isn't it, it insane? Try the other one first. Mm -hmm. Salty. Yeah, like. they add some sea salt or something. Or some kosher salt, I'm not sure. Which one do you like more? Both? Mm-hmm. No, no. It's tough. Cheers. Thank you, babe. Okay, let's do our haul of Zara things and anthropology. So, I already showed you the purse I picked out. So, so cute. And I'll try to link everything I can in the description for you. But yeah, it feels like really great quality and I think it'll be really versatile, but again, kind of dress up an outfit and it looks super expensive, which is nice because it was a pretty good price for, you know, looking so nice. It was $35.90. And then I also picked up these shoes, which I'm so excited about. They're just really great neutral kind of braided slide shoes and I think they'll just be Definitely a summer staple that I can wear and just slide on for many different outfits. And that's all I got from Zara. And then from Anthropology, I was looking for a card slash graduation gift for my cousin who just graduated high school and I just picked out a card for her and then I want to just give her a check, give her some money because I know like when you're graduating and about to be in college, it's nice to kind of, you know, get your own money and start building your bank account. So I'm just going to send her that, but look at how cute this card is. So I'm going to wait to take the little seal out, but so it just has this really pretty terrarium on the front and then you open it up and it's a pop of card. How stunning. And it says make today lovely. So I can just write a little graduation message and then she'll have that cool little card so yay and then I also picked up this dish towel that was on sale and it's just so pretty and it's actually a material that's absorbent which I always look for because a lot of dish towels they're just not very absorbent so I love this and it has really cute kind of scalloping details on the bottom so excited about that and then the rest of the things are wrapped up so Gotta unwrap them, they're a little fragile. So I picked up these precious measuring spoons and I have been on the hunt for some nice quality measuring spoons for a while now and I knew Anthropology would eventually have some and I'm glad I waited because these are just so beyond precious. I love the pastel colors on the back, the little flower details and I know these will be just, you know, something I keep in my kitchen for many years to come. And then I also found these precious taper candlestick holders. 
and I've been looking for some of these for a while now and I'm so glad again that I waited because these are just so unique and lovely and I have some tapered candles upstairs so I'm gonna style these maybe on the fireplace in my office or our entryway table that just arrived today so I'll unbox it later but we'll we'll see where I want to style them but I've been just kind of holding out for cute little taper candle holders and these are just again so so cute and then I couldn't resist this rainbow mug it is just so happy you instantly look at it and smile so every time I make my morning coffee and use this mug I know it'll just spark a lot of joy so excited about that find and then lastly what do you think it is I showed it to you in the store and again couldn't resist because it is just such a mood booster and so beautiful it is this absolutely adorable scalloped orange flower pot i mean look how beautiful and i thought this was an amazing price for just the quality and piece of art it is so it's 28 dollars yeah 28 dollars and I picked out a flower to plant in it this weekend when we work on our backyard makeover and our trellises. So I think this will be a really great addition to our little outdoor space. Okay, here's the console table in a really big box. We'll definitely unbox it soon. Also, my mom's dog Jessie is still with us, but she's actually getting picked up later tonight. And I also ordered Palmer a DNA kit, which I'm really excited about. I actually just ordered it yesterday. It's been less than 24 hours since I ordered it and it already arrived. So they're not messing around, they're super quick. So I'll probably try to do that maybe tomorrow. I don't wanna mess it up and I'm getting kinda of tired and still have a, quite a bit to do. So probably do that tomorrow. But I'm really excited to figure out what kind of breed he is and um, send that in. So basically you take a little bit of saliva, a little swab of saliva and then you send it to their lab and then they post the results later. So we'll see. Tonight I decided to make some Buddha bowls, which I absolutely love. It's definitely one of our favorite recipes and it just always feels like super nutritious and delicious. So I'll work on the actual bowls later, but first and foremost, I want to get started on the naan because I really want to make some naan, some garlic naan, and it does need to rise for an hour, I believe. So about five o'clock 5 12 now so i'll get the dough ready let it rise and then bake it actually i don't remember if i bake it or put it or cook it on the skillet i think we cook it on the skillet not sure but get that ready and kind of do some food prep i also need to cut some carrots and celery and cucumbers so we'll get chopping Here's the entryway table. I love it. It is just so funky. I feel like that's a good word for it. I love the arch and kind of the texture of it. I just think it's really fun. So I'm excited to style it. Probably put a mirror and some artwork and some candles and make it all cute. And maybe a little poof or some kind of ottoman on the bottom. was a labor of love but here's the finished product i'm so excited to eat looks and smells amazing it's already eight o'clock too it kind of took a while but it is ready it'll be worth it here's our garlic naan i've tasted a few bites and it is so yummy and then we have our buddha bowls which i have a whole cook with me about this and just what i put in it so i'll link that down below but here's like a little overview just basically a lot of veggies sweet potatoes 
and roasted chickpeas that I just cook and make all crunchy in the air fryer. So I think we're just gonna eat this and watch some TV while we eat. We've been loving Jeopardy, actually. It's kind of just like a light little thing to watch, but it's so fun to learn all these fun facts. And seriously, people who go on Jeopardy are so smart. I get one question of Jeopardy right, and I feel like I'm a genius <laughs> just because they're so obscure, the questions. But we've been really enjoying that and gonna hang out with this little man. Hey, that's my hair, little dude. That's my hair. <laughs> He's been having fun just roaming the house now that my mom's dog, she just picked her up actually, but because the thing is when we were watching my mom's dog, he would just try to play with her all the time, but she did not want it. So it was kind of chaotic, but now you have the house to yourself again, so you can be a crazy wild child, but thank you guys so much for watching and spending the day with me. It was definitely a fun day for real from the big giant cookies, peanut butter iced coffee, and shopping and cooking. I'm very thankful for today and very thankful for you all, and I cannot wait to see you super soon.